My first love was definitely art. And then I found fishing. My name's Jennifer Cravasi. I'm an airbrush artist professionally in my career. And her canvas happens to be a swim bait. Art, in its very essence, represents the person and who they are. She just lives life to the fullest. In life, you have to either live for yourself or be complacent and be miserable. And in my case, I was at a point where I was miserable. You know, the, the passion wasn't there anymore. It wasn't this colorful environment that she was used to. Probably the last thing that I thought about was arts and fishing. Color is life. Color is decisions. It's defining. I knew that I had to get back to me. My name's Jennifer Cravasi, and I'm a feature artist at Bullshad Swim Baits. I have my own company, Jekyll Bait Company, and I'm now a feature artist for Ketchco. I grew up in a small area of Harford County, Maryland. Nothing around but cow pastures, woods, and the great outdoors. So that's sort of how I began my life as a, as a kid. I didn't spend hardly any time inside. I grew up with a single parent, but a lot of love in the household. My mom didn't have a whole lot of money, so she held down two jobs. She went back to school and decided she wanted to get her arts, associate of arts degree, and would bring me to college classes with her. The professors would teach you know, just as much to me as they would to her. Um, ceramics class, sketching. I was developing film by the time I was in fourth or fifth grade. So I really got in tune to the arts. It was an escape for me. And then I found fishing. When I was about seven or eight years old, my mom took me camping. There was this one particular day where I had just learned how to fish. We had gotten to the point in the trip where it was pretty much time to go. I had run out of worms. We couldn't afford to get another pack of worms. And I had this little pack of bubble gum. I had bubblicious, I think it was a watermelon flavor. It was bright pink. So I was frustrated with my mom. I really wanted that last cast and I just, needed to catch that fish for the very first time. So I took my gum out of my mouth, put it on the hook, made that last cast. My very first fish was a yellow perch. To me, it was a monster, because I'd never caught a fish before. But that bright pink bubble gum sparked something in my creativity, and thus began an obsession with color that I have to this day. I'm still trying to capture all of the vivid colors. Need it louder? Or? Did you, did you get it out of the boat? Yeah. Okay. Good. So Jen has this obsession with color. I can think of several photos that she's taken and trips that we were. And when I see her photos, I'm like, that's not the same thing I saw. I wish it was. But she has a way of just capturing the uniqueness of the world around her. Good morning. Yeah, that was a trip. <laughs> we fish every chance we get. That's that's pretty much like the only thing we really do. I'm getting cleanly schooled by Harrison up here on the front of the boat. Oh my God, we've been through it. Yeah. 
Well, oh, remember when we were salmon fishing on the Pulaski River? My name is Harrison Sprague. I've been friends with Jen for about the last 10 years. Yeah, if you want to get to Jen, the one thing you'll say to her is you can't do that or stop or anything that you say that kind of would lead her to believe that you're trying to hold her back. We were calling you no hooks at Jen because uh -huh. you, so you were going to prove us wrong and you were going to hook the hell out of the next one that bit. And when you did that hook set, you fell into the water <laughs> and you drifted downstream and me and Dave had to Boys, save you. We're full of water. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, I almost grabbed it too. I forgot I don't know all about I didn't that. I on that trip. Yeah. I had no idea what I was doing. That's how I live my life. If you tell me I can't, I'm going to do it as best as I possibly can. My, my buddy John told me that I wasn't disciplined enough to be in the Army, so two days after we graduated high school, I was at the recruiter's office. Became a medic in the Army. Corporate level management. Environmental consultant, tagging turtles, tagging sturgeon. Asset protection. She was a, an assistant mayor for a small town. I was a musician. I spent a lot of time on stages, in clubs, made two CDs. She's like Forrest Gump. She just has all these very unique life experiences. Cheers. Long friendships. Long friendships. Cheers. Cheers. Art in its very essence represents the person and who they are. For me, it's bold colors. I live on the edge, I'm always a what's next person, what haven't I tried yet. That lifestyle, for as many years as it was, it kind of just left me in a bunch of different directions. And I think one of the things that we do, sometimes out of complacency, is to go back to what we know. Hey everybody, Jen Cravasi. I'm in my office at work. I began a career that lasted for about seven years with a major corporation who is very much active in today's retail environment. Started out as a, an asset protection officer, just busting shoplifters and watching the camera 24-7 when I was there. And at the time, I was deeply immersed in this career. We were in a store that had police officers at the door. It was that kind of a store where we had to. This, this one particular event that comes to mind, it was a normal day. I had gone to work just like I went five days a week as an asset protection manager. My detective on this particular day brought a subject into the office who had been shoplifting in the store. He was very clearly on something. Don't know what kind of drug it was, but he decided that he was going to not stay in the office. He became wildly violent and ended up putting me and the officer that was on the door in the hospital. It could have ended very badly, and luckily it didn't, but that confrontation was a, a, was a wake-up call of the ugliness of the environment that she was living in. It wasn't this colorful environment that she was used to. It was this, it was dark, it was gray. It, it, it wasn't where she wanted to be. I knew that I had to get back to me. Fishing and the arts. How could I bring those two things together? The only way that I figured that I could do that was to pick up an airbrush, teach myself how to paint, I had no prior knowledge of it, and learn how to airbrush baits because I knew, I just, it was like a calling. Once I, once I made that first cringy pattern on a bait, I knew that that's what I needed to do. That was the way to tie everything that I love together.
name is Jen Crevasi. Some of you guys know me from up and down the East Coast as a previous touring musician. Some of you guys know me as the avid angler that I've been since I was about seven years old. And now, the YouTube venture and the beginning of Jekyll Bates. After a period of about three years, I started getting to a level that I felt comfortable enough in my proficiency as an airbrush artist to where I was going with a business. I started getting requests for custom work that I hadn't been getting before. My name is Mike Buca. I am the owner of Bush House Swim Baits. My job as the, as the CEO of the company is, is I try to find the direction of the company. What direction do we want to go in? Try to innovate at all times. Don't just try to say, hey, that guy's got that market, let's go in there and join him. But I like to innovate, and I like to try to uh, create my own niches at times. And I like to look at the, the market as a whole, uh, Facebook, tackle shops, uh, you know, and just see what's out there. Back in 2019, 2020 time frame, Ross with Catchco uh, reached out to me about doing a collab with uh, Bullshine. It has been a, a wild ride. The uh, Craftsman video that they did was huge. Uh, it played a really good role in positioning us for growth, I believe. One day while on Instagram, I saw that uh, Jen Cravasi was, uh, was painting baby bull shots. We kept an eye on her for a long time and uh, just to see what she could come up with and, and the creativity that she had. I said, hey, I'm gonna be doing a show in Richmond, Virginia and I, I need some baits painted. I said, well, can you paint some baby bull shots and we can have them on display and we could sell them. Anybody that knows anything about the fishing industry understands what that ask is and what, who that ask is coming from. Mike Buca affectionately has been called the kingpin of swim baits. I painted in the baits and he's like, well, can you go ahead and ship them back to, and he gave me the address here in Georgia. And I said, well, I'll do you one better. You have a swim bait show coming up in October. How about if I just come out. I'm heading out that way anyways. So we had a chance meeting. He told me to come on for the whole weekend and work the show. And then I found myself in the middle of his old shop. She goes, why did you bring me here? I said, I have a plan. I have a big goal. I have huge plans for this company and I want you to be a part of it. And then he laughed and I said, why are you laughing? He's like, you would never move here. And I said, what if I said yes? Mike had developed and had already released this baby bullshad, and at this point, a baby bullgill. And it's a completely new way to introduce people to smaller swim baits. It's almost like the gateway drug to the swim bait uh, genre. I picked up, you know, a couple of baby bullshads and started painting them. And then as things progressed with me and Mike, he had given my patterns and shown them to a few people. I had no idea that he had done that until Ketchco reached out to me and said, hey, we love what you're doing. Uh, we'd like to see some more of your work. I said, this might be something that, you know, we could do, you know, and add some custom flair to uh, custom paint to the baby bush out. And, uh, and then sure enough, they reached out to her and uh, they started working on some things and prototype after prototype after prototype, 
they're they're reaching a, a, a closure and what they want to start doing with, with Jen, which I think is extremely exciting. This partnership that I'm entering into with Catchco, it allows me to show the world something that I've been working on for years now. So how cool to take my passions from this and this and turn it into artwork like this. gave it to me, I, I was expecting her to show me something else other than what she showed me. What she showed me, I'm like, all right, I see the Jekyll bait, but where's the collaboration piece? And she's like, that's it. When you get a Jekyll bait from Catch Cow, it is Jen. It's everything that she has worked for and everything that she has put her heart and soul into right on that exact lure. Color and the mind of the angler is everything. You're buying confidence, and that paint pushes them over the edge. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is who I am. I could not imagine my life without the arts in them and being able to take what I've learned in my past and draw from those experiences and push myself forward in a career that I absolutely love getting out of bed for every single day. That's the color. That's the obsession. That's where I want to be when I'm old and gray. <laughs>